C. How does density affect objects when placed in fluid? Hello, Cyphals! I am Mom the Arnila Chica, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to apply the concept of buoyancy and the Archimedes Principle. We will describe how buoyancy and Archimedes Principle affect the behavior of objects in fluids. We are also going to compare the weights of the submerged objects and the weight of the water displaced. Furthermore, we are going to demonstrate an application of buoyancy and Archimedes Principle. Finally, we will determine the importance of buoyancy and Archimedes Principle in real-life situations. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another AHHHHH moment! Remember that the weight of an object is equal to its mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity. In addition, density is the measure of an object's mass per volume. It is equal to an object's total mass divided by its total volume. Buoyancy is the force that causes objects to float. It is the ability of a fluid to exert an upward force on any object that is partially or wholly immersed in a fluid. Buoyant force can be observed when you try to submerge a ball underwater. It would be difficult for you to submerge the ball into the water because the water is exerting buoyant force, counteracting the force that you are applying to the ball. In the end, the ball will rise again and eventually float into the water. Why does this ball float in water? This phenomenon could be explained by Archimedes' principle. Discovered by the ancient Greek mathematician and inventor Archimedes. This principle states that any object completely or partially submerged in a fluid at rest is acted upon by an upward force or buoyant force. The magnitude of this buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. It can be mathematically written as where F sub B is the buoyant force, rho is the density of the fluid, V is the object's volume submerged in the fluid, and G is the acceleration due to gravity. Ah! Let us now calculate the buoyant force exerted by water to a nail immersed in it. First, let us get the weight of the nail. We are going to measure its mass using a digital weighing scale. The mass of the nail is 7.19 grams which is equivalent to 7.19 times 10 raised to negative 3 kilograms. Multiply this value to the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meter per second squared. Therefore, the weight of the nail is 0.7046 newton. We already know that the density of water is equal to 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter and that the acceleration due to gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared. Based on the formula of the buoyant force, we already have the values of the density of the fluid and the acceleration due to gravity. We only need to get the volume of the object. 
for objects with regular shapes such as spheres, cylinder, or prism, we can use the standard formula in computing the volume. However, since our object has an irregular shape, we are going to use water displacement method. The Archimedes principle states that the volume of displaced fluid is equivalent to the volume of an object fully immersed in a fluid or to the fraction of the volume below the surface of the fluid if the object is only partially submerged. First, let us measure the initial volume of water in the graduated cylinder. The initial volume of water is 5 milliliters. Then, we submerge the object in the graduated cylinder and get the new volume reading. This time, the new volume reading is 6 milliliters. We subtract the initial volume reading from the final volume reading to get the volume of the submerged name, which is 1 milliliter. That is equivalent to 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 cubic meter. Substituting the values to the formula for buoyant force, buoyant force is equal to 1,000 kg per cubic meter times 9.8 meter per second squared times 1 times 10 raised to the negative 6 cubic meter, we will get the value of the buoyant force which is equivalent to 0 0.0098 kilogram meter per second squared or 0 0.0098 newton. Therefore, the amount of buoyant force that is being exerted by the water to the nail is 0 0.0098 newton. This buoyant force is also the weight of the fluid. Notice that the weight of the object, which is 0 0.7046 newton, is greater than the buoyant force exerted by the water, which is 0 0.0098 newton. This explains why the object sinks in the water. This is called negative buoyancy. Ah. This time, let us determine the buoyant force exerted by water to a ping pong ball. Using the digital weighing scale, let us again measure the ball's mass and calculate its weight. Based on the reading, the mass of the ball is 2.34 grams, which is equivalent to 0.00234 kilograms. Multiplying this value with acceleration due to gravity, the weight of the ball is equivalent to 0.02293 newton. Using the displacement method once again, let us measure the volume of the water that can be displaced by the ball. Based on the reading from the graduated cylinder, the ball displays 2.3 milliliters of water which is equivalent to 2.3 times 10 to the negative 6 cubic meter. Substituting this value to the formula of buoyant force, we get 0.2254 newton. The weight of the ball is less than the calculated buoyant force. This explains why ball floats on water. This is called passive buoyancy. Ah! This time, let us determine the buoyant force exerted by water to a ping pong ball with nails. To calculate the weight of the ping pong ball with nails, 
we are going to measure its mass using the digital weighing scale and multiply this value with acceleration due to gravity. The mass of the ping pong ball with nails is 38.43 grams which is equivalent to 0.03843 kg and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second squared. The weight of our ping pong ball is 0.3767 newton. Let us now measure the volume of fluid that the ping pong ball with nails could displace using the water displacement method. This displaced water will be measured using a graduated cylinder. Based on our measurement using the water displacement method, the volume of the displaced fluid is 38.43 milliliters which is equivalent to 3.843 times 10 raised to negative 5 cubic meter. Let us now calculate the buoyant force by substituting our known values. The density of water is 1,000 kg per cubic meter multiplied by the volume of displaced water which is 3.843 times 10 raised to negative 5 cubic meter and acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter per second squared. We get the value of the buoyant force equivalent to 0.3766 newton. The weight of our ping pong ball is equal to the buoyant force exerted by water. As a result, the object partially floats in water. This is called neutral buoyancy. Ah! One of the applications of buoyancy and Archimedes' principle is how ships float in the water. A ship is designed to have a long and wide base, which allows it to displace water that has more weight or that which is heavier than the ship. As what the Archimedes principle states, if the weight of the object is less than the weight of the fluid is displaced, then the object will float. Buoyancy and Archimedes principle are also responsible for human swimmers, fish, ships, and icebergs staying afloat in water. Because air is also a fluid, the behavior of objects in the atmosphere filled with air is also affected by buoyancy and Archimedes' principle. A hot air balloon rises and floats. When the balloon's weight is less than the buoyant force, exerted by air. It descends when the balloon's weight is higher than the buoyant force and it becomes stationary when the weight of the balloon is equal to the buoyant force. Understanding the concept of buoyancy and Archimedes' principle help us determine how objects will behave when they are placed in a fluid. Through these concepts, we are able to use different materials and create innovative designs so that we can maximize their properties and utilize them efficiently. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we apply the concept of buoyancy and Archimedes principle. We learned that buoyancy is the force that causes objects to float. It is the ability of a fluid to exert an upward force on any object that is partly or wholly immersed in a fluid. Buoyancy can be explained by Archimedes' principle, which states 
that any object completely or partially submerged in a fluid at rest is acted upon by an upward or buoyant force. The magnitude of this buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Simply put, the Archimedes principle states that the buoyant force on an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. It can be mathematically written as where F sub B is the buoyant force, rho is the density of the fluid, B is the volume of the object submerged in the fluid, and G is the acceleration due to gravity. The principle also states that the volume of displaced fluid is equivalent to the volume of an object fully immersed in a fluid or the fraction of the volume below the surface of the fluid if the object is only partially submerged. Well, the weight of the displaced portion of the fluid is equivalent to the magnitude of the buoyant force. Positive buoyancy exists if the weight of an object is less than that of the displaced fluid, causing it to float. While negative buoyancy exists, when an object's weight is greater than the weight of the fluid it displaces, causing it to sink. Neutral buoyancy exists when the weight of the object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. The behavior of ships sailing at sea, swimmers in a pool, fish swimming in bodies of water, floating icebergs in the ocean, as well as hot air balloons in the atmosphere can all be explained through the concepts of buoyancy and Archimedes' principle. Understanding these concepts help us determine how objects will behave when they are placed in a fluid. Through these concepts, we are able to use different materials and create innovative designs so that we can maximize their properties and utilize them efficiently. Ah! That's all for today's Hypals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah! moment. Only here in Agham Alam Hub, Palajan's SciTech Portal. Bye!